Hey, Void. Finally did it. Finally watched the last one. Finally got around to it. Okay, so. I'd seen this movie once before. Sometime in the last year. Well, actually I've been doing the show for almost a year. So I guess within the last two years. Because, wow, yeah, almost at my year anniversary. Cool. So, I wasn't too enthused to watch it again since I wasn't really impressed the first time, but for completion's sake, okay, here we go. The Devil Bat. The last one on my 20 collection. It's alright. It's really the best I can say for it. So, The Devil Bat. 1940, starring Bela Lagosi. So that is that in its favor. Bela is having a lot of fun in the role, and he seems to... He's really carrying this whole movie. It's his mad scientist charm that really pulls this movie out of the just ups, out of the bad category. So... Bela plays a scientist who's works for a cologne perfume hygiene product company and uh, due to a mistake on, on his own part when the company was just getting going he wanted cash right up front rather than stock of the company so he took 10,000 instead of making millions so this has gone over the years is caused him to become a bit bitter. And despite them just recently giving him another $5,000 check, just for all the help he's been over the years, because it's really all his products that have been a hit, he decides to kill them all with a genetically altered bat. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, uh, that's the plot. Uh, he's made a poor financial choice, and now is determined to kill everyone he blames for it, or anyone associated with the um, with giant bat. He gives some random science explanation about uh, glands and electricity and for stimulation in uh, this weird chamber for how the bats got as big as they are, but Okay. And his new shave, aftershave tonic, the bat can't stand and will attack viciously anyone wearing it. So as he convinces his enemies to slather some right on the tenderest part of your neck, there causes the bat to come in and attack. I will say Bella is carrying this whole movie, so as he's convincing them to do this, he's having a lot of fun, particularly when they're, well, good night. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> he is the one thing keeping this movie going for me. Now, it's probably just the print I have on this case, because this movie seemed a little oversaturated. The whites were really white. I'm pretty sure that was just this copy. I think my other one was nearly as bad. That was a little irritating. But I won't hold that against the movie itself. So, uh, after the first murder, a uh, journalist come and his uh, photographer get involved and begin trying to figure out what's going on. That this strange body that looks like it was attacked by an animal, but there's no animals that... There's no animal that size that's, that could make those kind of wounds. So, however, they're there when the second one attacks and they see what they dubbed the devil bat and proceed to try to investigate it. Though, when trying to photo photograph it, they use a dummy, and that doesn't work very well for them, but... The photographer is too busy trying to photograph the French maid anyway, so... He he's busy. Yeah, and the film creates is just them trying to figure out who's... somehow causing these people to die and why. It's... we already know who it is, so we're just waiting for everyone else to catch up. 
but no one suspects him because he's such an upstanding, well-respected member of the community. Wow. The Devil Bat is ridiculous, and it's not a great movie. It's okay. Uh, the, one of the main problems I had with it is, yes, these two, the two leads pretty much work for the newspaper. Sure. Fine. But so many times they have just headline after headline of just newspaper text popping up for, with the devil bat headline and a little blurb, and it stays up long enough for you to read the blurb, and then another one will come up, another one, another one. It's like, it'll give you four. You'll play a couple scenes, and then you'll see someone else die, and then boom, 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 boom. Headline, headline, headline. It got real old really fast. That, and the devil bat itself is ridiculous looking. Okay, when they're doing close-ups and they're using actual bat footage, fine. But yeah, it's a stuffed animal. Like, when Bela's carrying around a stuffed animal on a hanger, pretending it's a bat, it's... It's silly. And you can see the string is holding the bat as it's flying around. It's... It's a silly movie. But it's it's worth seeing just to watch Bela Lugosi do his thing. But that's the same for any movie Bela's in. I can only really give the devil bat about two MacGuffins. The effects are lackluster, even for the time. And the script is... lame. The actors are fine, but there's only so much they can bring to life here. And, like, some of the characters are okay, like, uh, One Shot, the name of the, uh, the nickname for the photographer, he's got gets a chuckle here and there, and while well, he's has this obsession with Maxine, the maid of the family of the pharmaceutical magnet. But uh, like some of the characters, like his their boss, the over the top boss is also pretty amusing. But the main character kind of lost it for me a little bit. Like in the first scene, he's snarky as hell and. It's charming to watch, but after that, he just doesn't have that same energy after that first scene, so, and that's a shame. And Bella's the mad scientist, Dr. Carruthers. Okay, he was doing good. The rest of the family is just okay at best, but there's nothing for them to really be doing other than, oh, well, dab this on my neck and wait to die. Mm, yep. So, do MacGuffins. And that's a sign-off on this whole collection. This collection's very lackluster, overall. I mean, there's some okay films on it. I mean, how but, like, the two main ones that are good, uh, like, classic and good, Night of the Living Dead and House of Anfield, they're in everything. So you can find a better collection with both of those films. Blood Tide is a fine movie, and say, eh, uh, but it's not too hard to track down either. Little Shop of Horrors was a pleasant surprise, but pretty much everything else was average to terrible. And there were some pretty terrible ones on this collection. Look at you, Galaxy Invader. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that was the worst one, if I recall. Oh, Cosmos. Cosmos is also pretty bad. Mm. But, it isn't. If you're a bad movie aficionado like me, where you don't care what you're watching, you'll get a lot of interesting mileage out of this one. But, anyone who's more casual watching movies, get that cool collection to skip. Devil Bat, it's worth seeing once. Unfortunately, I've now seen it twice, so I'm already overdone on it. Do MacGuffins. Alright. Have a good night, and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with something else. My Tomorrow's the last day of my time off of work, so I probably won't be uh, broadcasting to the void as often, but I'll still try to get a few more in before my one-year anniversary kickoff. Well, have a good night.